going? All right. My name is Matt Wright. Thank you very much for having me. I'm going to talk about my dogs for seven and a half minutes. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if you guys have dogs. If you, if you don't, I don't know where your self-esteem comes from, but <laughs> good for you. I miss my dogs when I travel, so, but I have a little trick which I'll share with you when I'm in a different town. What I'll do is I'll sneak into a local dog park and get some strange. Nobody checks who owns the dogs. I don't think that'll work when I have children. I don't think I can get up on the road and be like, I miss my kids. Oh, 10, 10, recess, let's do this. I'm from out of town, who wants their belly rubbed? I got my dog from an animal shelter in St. John's, Newfoundland. Not to be a good person, I was just poor at the time and I wanted something that liked me. And I called them, I said, hello, may I have a dog, please? And she was like, yeah, we have a surplus. Uh, so they brought it over the next day, and she was like, this is Lou. And I was like, oh, cool. I wasn't looking forward to naming it. <laughs> I looked at this dog. I remember the first time I saw her, she was perfect. She was 16 pounds, overweight. <laughs> she had one eye that went this way, and one eye that went the other way, and she was missing part of one of her ears. And I was like, lady, I was promised a full dog, but she was gone. So now I'm here with this dog that I did not get the chance to name Evander Holyfield, which feels like a missed opportunity. <laughs> My girlfriend also has a dog, so I have a step dog. <laughs> he is a golden doodle. I did not know a golden doodle was a type of dog. A golden doodle to me sounds like a luxury dildo an elderly woman would use. Harold doesn't talk to me on Sunday nights. He knows what I'm doing. I'm getting to the tub with a glass of Shiraz and my golden doodle. It's been in my family for generations. Dogs are priceless. That one cost $1,200, which is $1,200 more than I paid for my dog. And I'm worried about her self-esteem if she ever finds out because the golden doodle is so big and photogenic, he wanders around the house all day with a look on his face like he almost knows calligraphy. <laughs> and then Lou walks around the house and Sora's is like, excuse me, da-da, how much was I? And I'm like, $1,200. And then Lou comes up, she's like, oh, and me? How much did I cost? And I'm gonna be like, ooh, your mother and I love you both equally. <laughs> you were on sale. I got some news last year. Uh, I had to take Lou to the vet, and the vet told me that she had a torn ACL, and that was devastating financially. <laughs> and emotionally, of course. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, I wonder what it's like to have American health care. And then I went to the vet, and I was like, oh, roughly that. But vets are incredible. I was like, can you please fix my dog? She's like, yes, of course. And you won't believe this, but we have a sale on right now. So I can offer you a surgery that works 61% of the time for the low, low price of $9,200. And I was like, what? This dog was free. <laughs> That's how they get you. It's like Columbia House. I gotta get that joke on TV right now because in 30 minutes, no one's gonna get it. <laughs> she had a torn ACL and that made me very upset because I don't mean to be rude, but that's an athlete's injury, right? <laughs> My dog doesn't play basketball. That's not what happened. That would be a better story. What happened to your dog? Well, check out the highlights. And LeBron James is flying down the court, and he's got an open layup to put the Raptors out of the playoffs again, and there's no one there to stop him. But wait, here comes Matt Wright's fat dog flying down the court, oh my goodness. And she soars through the air like a loaf of bread with legs and puts a scrawny little paw into the air and rejects the greatest athlete walking the planet. You wanted to be in movies, LeBron? Welcome to Air Bud 5, bitch. <laughs> oh 
oh no, but it looks like she's landed awkwardly and she's clutching her little knee. That might be a torn ACL, which means Lou, the somewhat beagle, is out for the season. <laughs> That's not what happened. She was asleep on the couch like she is 18 hours a day. And then she farted in her sleep, woke herself up, backflipped off the couch, landed on her paw, and now my kids can't go to university. Thank you guys very, very much. I'm Matt Wright. Thank you very, very much.